Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Moark Eggs. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting that Tyson Foods Incorporated workers continue to recover from the effects of dangerous chlorine fumes from an incident at a chicken processing plant on Monday. Five workers are intensive care and about 45 others remain hospitalized after an accident caused by the unintentional mixing of two chemicals, the company said on Tuesday. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. Taking a look at poultry in the chicken market, thigh meat has become more pressured in the wake of the difficulties surrounding leg meat. Bone in dark meat is rated about steady to steady. Tenders continue to be readily available and pressed for sale. Wogs and whole birds are generally balanced. Boneless appears to have tightened up fairly well at midweek, while whole breasts are pushy at best. Wings remain well maintained at most points of sale. Now, with an inside look at Erner Berry's turkey letter, here's market reporter James Serpico. Here at midweek, trade conditions have changed very little since Monday morning. The most consistent and active level of demand involved export interest for drums, thigh meat, wings, tails, and necks. After this week's revisions, our cold storage estimate rests at just under 477 million pounds, just shy of 4 million advanced from last week. Here our chart focuses on the latest release of the USDA cold storage report. For the turkey industry, this report plays a crucial role in helping to ascertain overall availability of frozen turkey, which in turn usually has a major influence on trade conditions and values in the market. In this case, we're examining the amount of breast meat in storage. During May 2011, breast and breast meat inventories gained almost 12 million pounds. This is in contrast to 2010 when holdings declined 2 million pounds and in 2009 when they dropped uh, about 7 million pounds. With frozen breast meat values dropping 25 cents per pound since hitting their peak in early April, this rise in cold storage now doesn't seem so out of place. Going forward, one can be certain that this report will continue to be one to watch for not only breast meat, but all turkey products. Thanks, James. In the egg market, retail demand is fairly good to good. Supplies of extra large and large are in close to good to close balance. The market is steady. Brown eggs are close and trending higher. Heavy breaking eggs are steady, as quoted. Moving over to red meats in the boxed beef market, demand as we head towards the 4th of July celebration has softened, resulting in some beef processors now showing more discounts for quick ship opportunity. The price reductions are seen for end cuts, ground beef, and some thin meats. Loin and rib meat are offered at steady levels. In the boneless market, several participants have indicated that fresh 50s are in better shape as of this morning. Light trade has already been reported near the top end of the previous quotation. Fresh 90s are still mixed as supply is varied from region to region. In the imported market, little trading information has come to light this morning that would warrant a change in our quotations. Sellers continue to offer near the top end of the market. Potential buyers are picking around the edges as they continue to purchase, mostly in a hand-to-mouth fashion. Taking a look at pork, with only three days left before the Independence Day weekend, most processors are well supplied with hogs for slaughter. Steady to slightly mixed trade is expected in the direct markets as some participants may need to secure additional hogs for next week delivery. Trade at the terminal markets is rated mostly steady to slightly weaker. The green meat complex is expected to remain mostly steady today with the possibility of a range is forming in trim as delivery times differ due to the holiday. Fresh pork is amply supplied for adult demand. Holiday needs are met and buyers seem unwilling to commit to additional quantities until they have a chance to assess movement post-holiday. Loins, butts and spare ribs are all rated weak. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report brought to you today by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services. Providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.